Hey! Look at what I got! A garbage truck toy! <gasps> a real garbage truck! Are you ready to learn about garbage trucks and recycling today? Yeah! Let's go! Now, let's learn some of the parts of the garbage truck. Come on. <laughs> first things first, the cab. Woo! Look at who it is. It's Tony. Hey, Tony. Hi, kid. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> that, the cab, is where the garbage truck driver sits and steers the garbage truck. Whoa! <laughs> it's so high, though. How do they get up there? <gasps> Let me show you. Come on. These are the steps. <laughs> That's so fun. I love garbage trucks. Whoa! Look at right here. You know what this is. It's a fire extinguisher. Just in case if there's any fire near or on the garbage truck. Garbage trucks are really safe. You'll soon learn that. Because <laughs> let me teach you. Here's some more safety features of the garbage truck. Look. Do you know what these are? They're tire chains. Just in case, if the road gets really icy and slippery, you wrap them around the tires so then the garbage truck can drive straight and not slip and slide. <laughs> oh, look, reflective tape. This is for light to hit and bounce off and make the truck really bright at night. Garbage trucks are so safe. Oh, look, a spill kit, another safety feature. This yellow bag contains absorbent pads just in case if there's any ewy and icky things on the ground that you can't scoop or broom up into the garbage truck. So you use the spill kit. Oh, come back here. I have something really cool to show you. Oh, whoa, hurry, come here. Look! <laughs> Airbags! Watch this! Whoa! Did you see that? The garbage truck just lowered because of those airbags. And you use those airbags right before you dump. Oh, and look! This is how you dump the recycled goods out of the garbage truck. This opens up because these hydraulic cylinders push the back door really open and then it dumps all the compressed goods out of it. But first, we need some stuff in it. How do you get it in there? <laughs> the coolest part, let me show you. Come on. Hurry, come here. <laughs> Watch this. This is the grabber arm. It goes, uh, 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 uh. it's like a claw. It grabs the can, pulls it in, brings it up, and dumps it into the hopper. Oh, look, the hopper up there. And then it gets pushed into the compression body right here, and it gets compressed really tight, and then it gets dumped, dumped out the back, like I said. Wow, I love garbage trucks.
know the parts of a garbage truck and how it works, let's learn about the differences between garbage and recycling. Garbage, you only can use once and then you throw it away. Stuff like kitty litter, bubble gum, or even like a dirty diaper. P.U. <laughs> yeah. You only use that stuff once and then you throw it away. But recycling, you can use it many times because it might get melted down or just processed back into the original product or something similar made out of the same material. And if it can, it's recyclable. Let me show you some of the things that I brought from home to recycle today. Oh look, a milk jug. That's plastic, you can recycle plastic. And then a tin can. Oh. An aluminum can. Ooh, plastic bags. Oh, a spray bottle. That's plastic. Ooh, a glass bottle. <laughs> and even a cardboard box. All those things you can recycle. Now that we know the difference between garbage and recyclable goods, let's visit a recycling facility and sort out some recyclable goods. We're at the recycling facility. First, we need our safety equipment on before we go inside. Okay, wall, bright vest, bright hard hat, and safety glasses, and suspenders. We have all the recyclable materials out of the truck. Now we get to sort it. This is gonna be fun. All the recycled materials come up the conveyor belt and then they need to be sorted because there's so many different kinds like paper, plastic, cardboard, aluminum, tin. There's so many. Here, let's go sort some. Ah. All of the recyclable goods travel down these conveyor belts. Workers sort them out by the different types of materials. And once it gets sorted out to one type of material, like this cardboard, it then gets crushed and compact into this tight log of one material. Then a forklift comes up, picks it up, and transports it to a different part of the warehouse. And when the material is ready to be transported onto the back of a semi to go somewhere else to be recycled, a forklift loads it into the back of a semi. That was so much fun seeing inside a real recycling facility. Now, let me turn up those tunes so we can dance to and sing my garbage truck song. Garbage trucks, garbage trucks, driving through the town, picking cans up off the ground. Garbage trucks, sometimes when I wake up early in the morning, I hear a monstrous sound. I look out the window, and there's a garbage truck picking cans up off the ground. It empties the can and puts it back down, then drives away so loud. Garbage trucks, garbage trucks, driving through. Town, picking cans up off the ground Garbage trucks The garbage man drives up in the 
garbage truck Then picks that garbage up He dumps it in the back so that it can be crushed Then he drives off to the dump He backs up to a pile of all the trash from the town And dumps the whole thing out Garbage trucks Garbage trucks Driving through the town Picking cans up off the ground Garbage trucks They come in many colors Some are blue, some are brown, and some are green And wouldn't you know it There are some that can pick up recycling yeah. Garbage trucks Garbage trucks Driving through the town, picking cans up off the ground Garbage trucks Garbage trucks Garbage trucks Driving through the town Picking cans up off the ground Garbage trucks Jeez Louise, this video had a lot of great information. Today we learned about garbage trucks, recycling trucks, and recycling. If you liked this video and you want to watch more of my videos, all you gotta do is search for my name. Do you know my name? Yeah, it's Blippi. Let's spell it together. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi, that's my name. Good job. All right, see you soon. Bye. It's me, Blippi, and look at what's behind me. Whoa, a really cool sign. What does it say? SciCart International Speedway. <gasps> yeah, today I'm at SciCart International Speedway in Tukwila, Washington. Hey, and check out that and that. What are those? Yeah, those are go-karts. Today, you and I are going to learn and drive some go-karts. Did you see those? Those were flags. Yep, and when you're racing go-karts, it's very important to listen to the flagger. Yeah, because the go-kart engines are so loud, they probably can't yell at you. And through the helmet, you can't hear them. So you can communicate with colored flags. Let's learn about them. Whoa, what color is this flag? Yeah, that flag is the color green and this means it's the start of the race. As soon as that green flag drops, it's go time. <laughs> oh, look at this flag. Yeah, this flag is the color yellow. Yeah, and the yellow flag, when you see the flagger, that means to slow down. Yeah, do not pass. That might mean that there's a little problem on the track. So be very careful. It means caution. Oh, look at this flag. Wow, yeah, the color red. Just like a stop sign or a stoplight, it means stop immediately. There might be a big problem on the track. Maybe a couple carts spun out and they're blocking the track. Yeah, who knows? This flag just means to stop when you see it. Oh, another flag. Whoa, what color flag is this? Yeah, one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> this is the blue flag. And when you see the flagger moving it up, that means move over, let others pass. Yeah, maybe I'll be going really slow. And that means if I see the blue one, I'm gonna move over to let others pass. Yeah, it's really important to be safe on the track. Oh, look at this one, black flag. 
you are out of the race. Oh no, that doesn't sound like fun. Yeah, you might get this if you did something you shouldn't have, like maybe bumped people. Yeah, you're not supposed to bump during go-karts. These aren't bumper cars, they're go-karts. <laughs> oh, yeah, the white flag. That means one lap remaining. Oh, you know what this means. Give it some gas and go for the win. <laughs> and the last flag. Yep, the black and white checkered flag. That means the race is over and that you probably won. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, it's a go-kart. <laughs> yeah, we're learning about go-karts. Hey, let's learn the parts of a go-kart. Whoa, this thing is so awesome. Hey, do you know what this is called? Yeah, this is where you sit. <laughs> yeah, and this is called a seat. Whoa, look at what I'm holding. <laughs> yeah, this is the steering wheel. Pretty cool, huh? This is how you turn left and you turn right. Yeah, just like steering a car or a truck. Yeah, go-karts also have a steering wheel. Look at what my feet are pushing on. Yeah, this, see the red? That is the brake pedal. Yeah, if you push down on that, this is gonna stop the go-kart. Do you see this one over here? What color is this one? Yeah. That's the color green. And you know what green means? Green means go! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Check this out. Yeah, one great thing about go-karts is they're nice and safe because they have <laughs> a seat belt. You have to remember to always wear your seat belt. Yeah, and then obviously we'll be wearing a helmet too. Whoa, look at right here. Right in the center, this is where you fill up the go-kart with fuel. This go-kart takes gas. Let's open it up. Whoa, it's nice and full in there. I think it's ready to ride. <laughs> so hey, have you ever seen the engine of a go-kart? Come check it out. All right, wow, look at this. So let's pull off the cover. Whoa, look at the engine of the go-kart. Whoa, this is what creates the power. The gas goes in here, mixes with air, and then there's a spark from a spark plug, and then power is created. <laughs> wow, what a cool machine. I think it is time to ride the go-kart. Check out all of these go-karts. I am so excited to beat the lap record. <laughs> Whoa, check them out. Whoa, do you see all of these go-karts? Yeah, all of these go-karts have a red number plate. Oh, that's so cool. Whoa, and look at all of these go-karts. All of these go-karts have a black number plate. Whoa, there's so many numbers, come on number. What number is this? There's a one and a six. Yeah, 16. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Two of the same number. And both of the numbers are two. Two, two. What number is that? Yeah, 22. Good job. Hey, I have a simple math equation for you. Let's see, what is one plus two? One plus two, one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, the number three. <laughs> yeah. These go-karts look so much fun. Hey, let's pick one at the front and then let's go for a ride. 
Hmm, let's see. How about this one? All right, let's hop in. <laughs> whoa, 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 not quite yet. You need to be very safe while you ride a go-kart. Let's go pick out a helmet. all of these helmets we can choose from. Whoa, I am so excited. Whoa. Check out this helmet. Yeah, this helmet looks so cool. It's the color green, black, white, whoa, and shiny silver. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have one of my two favorite colors. Yeah, a blue helmet. Wow, this looks like a cool helmet. Whoa, look at this helmet. Yeah, what color helmet is this? Yeah, the color pink. <laughs> I like this helmet. Helmets are really important to keep your head nice and safe while we're out go-karting. <laughs> Can't forget about the color red. Whoa, look at this. Ring, ring. And the last color helmet that we have is the color yellow. Yeah, that's a nice color. Kind of reminds me of the color of the sun, huh? Yeah. Man, there are so many colors of helmets here. Hmm, what color helmet would you pick? Oh, I love that color. Hmm, but I need a helmet right now. Let's see. I have an idea. Why don't I use some of my own safety equipment? Pants! Yeah! Woohoo! Gloves! Whoa! Yeah! Free! Yeah! Now I'm ready to race! Ha! <laughs> Let's go! Alright, I think I am ready. <sighs> Sit in the go-kart. Ooh, safety first. We have to wear our helmet, and we need to make sure we're buckled up. All right, Blippi, you look completely ready to go. The track record, 23.3. You think you can beat that? <sighs> I've never been more ready in my life. Sidecar International Speedway in Tukwila, Washington. Woohoo! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Flippy! Good job! <laughs> all right, <laughs> see you again. Bye bye! Look at 
what it is. It's an excavator. Yeah! Are you ready to learn about excavators with me? Yeah! Let's go! are so spectacular. Let's look at the parts of the excavator. <laughs> Come here. Hmm. Let's start with the cab. This inside here is where the operator of the excavator sits. Look inside. Wow, there's a lot of controls in there. Ooh, that looks fun. <laughs> okay, let's close the door. Oh, whoa, look, yeah. These are the tracks of the excavator. Wow! There's no wheels and tires on an excavator. There are only these tracks. And it allows for it to go over rocks and mud and, and big piles of dirt and not even get stuck like this. <laughs> See? I didn't even get stuck. Woo! And look back here. This? is the engine compartment. This is where the excavator gets all of its power from. Huh, look. Wow. There's more engine components on the other side and the top, but there's a bunch of radiators, coolant, and all that fun stuff in here. I almost forgot my favorite part, the bucket. Let's go. at the bucket. This excavator bucket is really big. It can grab and scoop a bunch of dirt out of the earth. In this part right here, the clamper, yeah, it's called the thumb. Whoa, and look at all of this, wow. This is the arm of the excavator. It's really tall. And that part, that is the boom of the excavator. The arm and the boom and the bucket. And how all of this gets powered are these hydraulic cylinders. Wow. They push fluid up. So then everything can move. Whoa, it's like I'm an excavator. That was so much fun learning the parts of an excavator. Now it's time to operate the excavator. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First things first, safety first. Yeah, yeah. look, I got my safety vest on and my hard hat. See 
joysticks? These are what operate the arm and the boom and the bucket. See? Oh, in this one, this one makes it swivel. Watch this. Whoa! 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 This is so much fun! Whee! Okay, and then I'll push it the other way. And now we're going to swivel around this way! Whoa! 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 Whee! Okay, here we go. All right, enough swiveling. Now it's time to dig. Pull the joysticks. Yeah! Whoa! Look at how big this scoop is! Yeah! Hey, now let's dump out the scoop. Whoa! That was a big scoop. <laughs> We're on a little joy ride in the excavator. We're just dragging the excavator to find a new spot to dig in. Look at what it is! It's a stump! I wonder what's underneath the stump? where the stump used to be. I wonder what's underneath the stump. Looks like a bunch of dirt. A lot of dirt. And look, a giant rock. What else? Look, it's a boom box. Boom boxes play music. I wonder what song is in here. Excavator. It's the excavator song! Excavator. Hey dirt, see you later. I'm an excavator. I've got a great big arm and a great big boom. If I start digging now, I'll be done real soon. I'm a dirt separator. I'm an excavator. Excavator. I'll teach you. All you gotta do is bring up your arm, like it's the arm and the boom in the bucket, and start to scoop. <laughs> That's fun! Got a place where workers sit, it's called a cab Where they control the bucket to scoop and grab I'm a whole regulator, I'm an excavator Oh, can't you see that I work all day? Do you ever sleep? No time for sleep, no time for play 
an excavator. Excavator. Hey, dirt. See you later. I'm an excavator. 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 That was so much fun learning about the marvelous machine of an excavator with you. Look at where I'm at. I'm at a super center. But look at what it is. It's a delicious apple. I wonder how this apple got here. Every apple at the grocery store came from an apple field. First you gotta pick the perfect fruit. Like this one. This one looks really tasty. And after you pick it, you put it inside the bin with all the other apples. <gasps> Let's try and find an apple together. Hmm, do you see an apple? Ah, I see one. Yeah, look. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> It all starts by a worker hand-picking every single apple. And then, they dump their sack into the bins. And when the bin gets full, a tractor picks it up and takes it away. Now that the apples are all out of the fields and into the bins, and the bins are full, now we need to transport them to the trucks. Wow! Four giant bins full of apples! And one red tractor! Okay! The apples are now here at the semi-truck! Now we gotta load up all the bins on top of the back of the semi-truck with a forklift. The bins are loaded on the back of the truck, so let's go! Off to the factory we go. We've arrived at the factory, so now we need to take a forklift and get every single bin off the back of the semi-truck. It is time to clean and package all of the apples. <laughs> Look, green apples. Now we need to empty the bins of all of the apples so we can clean them and package them. Apples start their floating journey while the bins get emptied out. Look, the bins are empty. Whoa! 
Whoa, that's a lot of floating apples. Then they get taken out of the water and scrubby dub dub, <laughs> nice and clean. And clean some more. Look at all those bristles. Those apples look like they're having fun. <laughs> and then all the apples get sprayed with some water. Nice and clean. And then they go through giant fans. Once the apples are all dry, they get sorted. They get sorted by the ones that look really tasty to eat and ones <laughs> that don't look tasty to eat. And remember the not so tasty looking apples? Yeah, these are them. They get to go up some fun apple escalators and then they get to go down some radical apple conveyor belts on their journey to make some tasty apple pie. But we're not done there yet. Every tasty looking apple gets a sticker. This is the sticker machine. And once every single apple has its very own sticker, they get put on what I like to call apple beds. <laughs> And then the next step is that those apple beds get put inside of cardboard boxes. And some get put inside plastic bags. Oh, looks like some of these boxes need their tops closed. Now that the apples are all clean and packaged up, we gotta store them in a giant refrigerator and wait for the trucks. <laughs> We're inside the giant refrigerator now. It is very cold in here. This is where all of the apples get stored. Wow, look at how many apples there are. That's a really tall storage building. Yippee, the semi truck is backing up to the building so it can be loaded up with a bunch of fresh apples. Alright, forklifts, just a little bit more apples. Now that the semi truck is all full of apples, it's gonna deliver them to the grocery stores. Ooh, it was sure fun seeing how apples get to the grocery store with you. And remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Hey! It's 
me, Blippi, and today I'm at Chocolat in Leavenworth, Washington. And today, since you and I ate our vegetables, we're gonna make some chocolate and caramel. I am so excited. Let's go! Hey, who are you? Hey, Blippi, my name's Andrew. Whoa. Welcome to Chocolat. Nice to meet you. What do you have here? Uh, we have all sorts of truffles and bonbons, all handmade right here on site. Wow, they look so tasty. Look at that. Oh, I just want to eat them all up. Whoa! What do you say, Blippi? Do you want to make some chocolates today? Yeah! Let's go! Wow! All of these candies look so yummy! Hey, and did you notice how all of these have different shapes? Yeah, let's check them out. Whoa, do you see this one? What shape is that? Yeah, look at it closer. Yeah, that is a square. <laughs> yeah, and it's really cool how all of these have different fillings on the inside. Ooh, look at this swirl. Wow, yeah. What shape is this? Yeah, it's a circle. Perfect, good job. Ooh, wow, a sign of love. <laughs> oh, so cute. What shape is this? Yeah, it's a heart. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, and these are really cool looking. Wow. Yeah, it's not a normal shape. This is a unique shape. Yeah, and this thing, yeah, this thing is unique to every single one. Yeah, this is a leaf. Yeah, every leaf has different veins and different structures and every single one looks a little bit different from each other. Whoa, look at these. These even have little pieces of gold on them. Wow, <laughs> yeah. What shape is this? Yeah, it's another leaf. <laughs> it's from a different type of tree, I'm sure. <laughs> well, they all look so yummy, but I can't eat them yet. We have some more learning to do. Yeah. Check it out! Here is the kitchen! Yeah, I am so excited to make some chocolate! Okay, first thing I need to do is put on an apron. Oh, yeah! <laughs> this is worn. Make sure that your clothes do not get dirty and sticky. <laughs> How do I look? Yeah! I look ready! <laughs> Whoa, not ready yet because we need to wash our hands. All right. Very important to wash your hands if you're going to work with food and make candy. Yeah, perfect. You have to scrub them, get underneath the nails. Okay, now we get to rinse it off. All that soap. Oh, yeah. You're nice and clean. Perfect. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, hey, look at who it is. Who are you? Hi, I'm Carissa. Oh, nice to meet you. What are you doing right here? Well, today we'll be we're making some caramels. Ooh, caramel? I love caramel. Have you ever had caramel before? Yeah, it's so yummy. Will you show us? Sure thing. Let's go ahead and make some. Caramel frame, and then we cut a square or rectangle out of it and 
now we're left with this. So what I'm going to do is put on some blue gloves. There's one. <laughs> and then here's two. Two blue gloves. And then we're going to use this guitar cutter. <laughs> yeah, to mark the caramel. So we're gonna line it up just like this. Push down slightly. There we go. And what I'm trying to do here is mark these lines. Yeah, just like that. So then I know where to cut later, okay? So how does that look? That looks pretty good. All right, let's turn the caramel. And then let's do a cross cut. Awesome. Yeah, perfect. Look. Whoa, do you see all the miniature squares in it? That is a lot of caramel. And now, one of my favorite parts. We get to put chocolate on them. <laughs> Whoa, I love chocolate and I love caramel. So what we're gonna do is take these caramel pieces and dip them in chocolate and then sprinkle some sea salt on top. Yum! <laughs> okay, let's set that down right there. Let's take the fork, let's grab this piece first. You need to dip the fork in the chocolate. Yeah, there we go. And we have a little chocolate right there. Put the caramel, dip it in, and then you start tapping. Yeah! <laughs> wow, that looks so good. All right, a little bit more. Okay, you don't want too much chocolate on that or else it'll be a goopy mess. So, put it down like that. Oh, not the best, but not too bad for my first one. And then let's sprinkle some salt right on top. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right, let's try another one. That was fun. I am so excited to try these later. How do those look? I think they look yummy! on top, put it on the inside, and then when it cools, we get to eat them. <laughs> okay, first let's uh, make a healthy one, okay? So how about let's take some of these almonds. Okay, and then we have some cherries right here. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> it's like decorating, but decorating with food. And then, how about some pistachios? Yeah, pistachios is another type of nut. Yeah, that one looks like a yummy and pretty healthy chocolate bar <laughs> with nuts and fruit. <laughs> All right, okay, how about another one? This one, let's, uh, yeah, I think we should have some marshmallows. I love marshmallows. <laughs> okay, now we can use some peanut butter chips and sprinkle them on top. Yum, this is gonna be so yummy. 
All right, and then let's use a little bit of pretzels. Wow, this is so much fun. All right, there we go. And one more. Perfect. And then let's do a couple banana chips. Have you ever had a banana before? Yeah, banana is a type of fruit. Yeah, they're pretty yummy. And banana chips are really yummy too. All right, that one looks good. So let's do the last one. And let's have some fun and put some colorful sprinkles on it. All right, here we go. Okay, now we're gonna need to put it in the fridge to cool down. There we go. <laughs> yeah! Wow, that was so much fun decorating those chocolate bars with you. <laughs> well, now we need to wait some time to let the chocolate cool. Hmm. What do we do? Okay, I think that's enough time, so let's go get the chocolate bars. Whoa, look at them. Wow. Okay, now let me knock them out. All right, so here we go. Whoa, look at them. They're perfect. All right, here is the first one. Wow, it looks so yummy. And here is the second one. Whoa! Yeah! Wow! <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh no! I broke it! <laughs> That's okay. It's still gonna taste just as good. I am so excited to eat these. <laughs> yeah! Wow! Check it out. Yeah, we did such a good job. Whoa, check out this room. Looks like they have a lot of boxes in here with some ribbons, ooh, a bunch of stickers. Wow. Oh, hey, look at who it is. Hey, who are you two? I'm Tilly. I'm Molly. Oh, nice to meet you two. What are you two doing? We're boxing up some chocolates. Oh, can I see? Sure. <laughs> Did you see how they put the rest of the chocolates in the base? And now they're putting the tops on. Check it out. And do you see what they're doing now? Yeah, now that the boxes are fully enclosed, now they're tying ribbons all around it to make it look pretty. <laughs> they did such a great job boxing up this box of chocolates. Do you like it? Yeah, it's so yummy. But hey, this is the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Flippy. Good job. All right, now it's time to eat some chocolates. <laughs>